congratulations, man. Bernard Lagarde, how are you? I'm great, man. Thank you very much. That's right. Hey, what was it, fifth last year? Uh, yes, I was fifth last year and then came in here today and I won it. So it's a real surprise. You're surprised? I was about to ask you what was different this year, um, with, you know, contributing to the first place finish. I think uh, learning the course and then just from that first race that I did last year. So I learned the, the course and then I studied it. And then I went back and I knew in order for me to win or even come third, I wanted to do something different and I wanted to train properly for this race because of the hills. So I used the hills in Tucson. I used to drive for 45 minutes every week. My coach tells me, you have to do this. And that, those hills are so tough, it's so rough because of dirt road and I made use of it. It helped me immensely. And so when I came over here, I was really confident. So we drove here yesterday to the course again because I wanted to see some strategic position where I would run hard or maybe relax. I know if, I, if I'm at this point, what do I tell myself? So those are the things that I was working on entirely. And I didn't want to leave any gap to develop. So I just wanted to be with everybody from, you know, first try to until the end. Tell us a little bit about your strategy during the race. Uh, a lot of us at the finish line didn't get to see a lot of how it played out. Yeah. What was your strategy overall? You know, just a quick overview of your strategy so in the race. The, the overview, first of all, when the gun went on, or I guess, the, you know, that horn, I wanted to be in front. I wanted to make sure that I'm not going to be left over, I'll be left behind so that I have to make the chase. And then coming downhill, I wanted to make sure that I conserve a lot of energy. I don't want to burn myself coming down so hard. But then when we started going uphill, I don't want any gun to develop and so I had to just make sure that I know which marks this is mile three this is mile four five and then once you're at mile five you know it's just only going to roll a little bit and then that's it turn on 10th and you know that's basically you're you're seeing the you know the finish line and that is exactly what I wanted to see I wanted to see the first line when I'm with the top five guys but then I saw the finish line when I'm with only two guys in front of me so it was fantastic that was the strategy I wanted to see today Awesome. Congrats on that. And then what about the conditions? How did that affect strategy? Oh, you know, like conditions today were not bad at all. In fact, I was really running in there, not feeling anything. I did not even drink anything on the road, just concentrating on just running. The thing is, what sometimes people forget to do is just concentrate. Just they want to get water because they feel like they're tired. And then you change the strides. Just stay with your strides. Mark one pause on that. You know, this guy's dangerous. And then that's it. And so I did the that, I did that way. Running the tangents, I wanted to make sure that I, no, I don't run any extra distance. So basically cutting it while everybody is still on the other side. When so, you know, some of the guys who knew how to run those tangents, I was following them. But I know so-and-so is still ahead, that's good. So I don't want, once they're behind, I don't like that because I know they are tough. So you actually found the, uh, the conditions okay today. So speak to the big picture for you. Where, where, where does this race fall on your um, calendar in terms of your big picture preparations and upcoming events? Yes, uh, this is going to be an important one for me because I want to run a very good half marathon in September. And then, so the training that I'm going to be doing is basically for the half marathon. So when I win a 10K like this, I'm so confident now that, hey, I can be with anybody. I can kick. I can run as hard as I can now be without limiting myself with age. You know, everybody looks at me, I'm 43, and be like, wow, you're 43, how do you do this? It's training, nothing else, training and sacrifices. Like, I'm not home with my kids most of the time, and I wanted to be with them. I wanted to do so many things, gymnastics for my daughter, and the thing is I sacrifice to go to training camps and just do this, and, and today this is for them. Well, thank you on behalf of all the men over 40, and congratulations, and we'll be keeping up with Bernard Lagutman, our winner here at the 49th running of the Petrie Road Race. Thanks. Yes, sir, man. Thank you so much, sir. Right. Thank you. More to come right here on the platform. Petrie Road Race.